Hi there, everyone, and welcome again to my Sky Factory series. So before you all start yelling at me, look at what's going on. I mean, I have some serious issues here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I came into the game and I actually, I left it on for like not very long time. I actually was doing other things in the meantime. I said, let me leave this on for I'll collect some more uh, resources. Actually, what I wanted to do is see that the uh, planter and harvester were working well. Um, so I let the items grow, you know, grow and then... Um, I, I went ahead and checked that, you know, it's, it's, it's grabbing, you know, it's the harvesting is working well, everything's working well. And then I saw that and I was just like, oh no, <laughs> I mean bad, really bad. Oh my gosh. So what I noticed is my ME system is off, not being powered. This is the problem here. I haven't run out of disk space. It's just a matter of it being off. Now we run over here to my pulverizers and they seem to be working fine. They're fully powered, all of them. So we've got three here fully powered. Every single one is working. I don't see any glitch here. Perfectly working. All right. So now if we head down, I know, I know you guys are really mad at it. I know it really bothers a lot of people. Trust me, it's bothering me too. But I, you know, I got a first problem side before I can do anything about it. So, all right. So um, we've got a four generator tier, which we say these um, conduits take 400 RF per tick, right? We have four at 80, right? So that's giving us um, 320. I could put one more here, right? I believe one more. Now, if we look at them, this is full of lava, right? And I guess power is draining from here. I want to say full of lava, okay? This one has like almost no lava. And I guess they're all completely drained. They're just not keeping up with the whole system. Now, remember, we have over here as well. These are only two, but these are running really well. Remember, these are only powering two pulverizers, so that's no big deal. Now, these are pulling lava from here, but as you can see, these two are full of lava. Two over here are full of lava, and two are almost empty completely. Um, so the two that are closer to the lava generator are almost empty with lava, not very much, and these two are full. So I'm not really sure. Um, I could add one more generator, like I said. One more generator. Will it help the whole system? It could. It could. I mean, I don't have too many options. But my idea is to add one more generator and add um, an energy cell. Now, they've changed the name. So let's go ahead and ch take a look. I have them all here. Uh, used to be redstone energy cell, which I think there still is a redstone, but let's see. First is the leadstone, just like the conduits. That's the lowest level. That holds an amount of 400,000 um, energy there. Then we have the hardened. That holds uh, 2 million. You see 2 million right there. Then the next level is the redstone, and that's holding 10 million. Then we go to the resonant, <laughs> which is crazy. And that's holding, what are we up to there? 50 million. So basically, I think that would be a nice buffer. I possibly need that to have it like in between. Maybe I could have conduits coming out of all of these and have all of those conduits go right to one of those energy cells. So that's sort of like a buffer for the whole system. That might help. If it doesn't help, if I do all of this and it doesn't help, well, what does that mean? I'll have to make a whole other line of power. Um, which I might need. Not really sure. Um, that ME system is just not being powered enough. So, or another option is to take two lava generators, which will produce 160 RF, and have them just have them exclusively just powering the ME system. Possibly, possibly. So as you can see, we're in trouble here. We are most definitely in trouble. So what we could do in the meantime, so you guys don't go nuts on me because you're all going to go crazy and tell me, oh my gosh, all that stuff you're losing. But remember, <laughs> it's true. It's so crazy, is it? I know, I know. I don't want to annoy all of you with watching this for too long. Let's go ahead and um, let's see. I think I have our, I want to say our crescent hammers here. Yes. All right, so let's grab our crescent hammer. Let's get rid of what I can here. At least give myself a little more space because this is insane. Actually, let's keep those seeds we, that we could get. Okay, make more space. Okay, um, let's see if I could get rid of something else that we have in here already. Good, good. Whatever I can get rid of is good. Okay, good. And there we go. Okay, great, great. Now we have a little more space in here. 
All right, so what we can do now is let's go ahead and move those conduits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop one of these lines for now. Our ME system is a lot more important than producing so much dust right now. Let's We could stop the production of some of the dust and basically work our way, you know, and have that ME system running so it grabs all that stuff. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see how we can do this. Um, okay, this one is making gravel. This is making dust, and this is also making dust. So let's stop this system right here. Let's go ahead and grab these. Okay, there we go. And where is our ME system? Um, it's right over here. Let's see if, hold on a second now. By eliminating that, let's see if that will help the power in our, I don't see it moving. That's odd. Maybe it's, maybe it's already working because I've eliminated one line. So wait, wait, I do want to connect this though. Um, what I can do is let's grab some stone actually. I should have had that ready. Should have had that ready. Let's actually just steal some stone from, where can I steal stone from? Gosh. Okay. Let's steal some stone from the edge here. Just need two pieces. So there we go. Okay. I don't know what I broke. I hope I didn't bring anything important. Okay. <laughs> and let's put that. No, I think we're good. And place that here to block this so it doesn't connect. Right? That's good. I just needed one really. Connect this up. So now, because I had disconnected everything. So we are eliminating one of our lines of dust. Okay. Just to see if it'll, you know, start working. And I really, you know what? I didn't have to show you guys this, but I really wanted to because when I saw that was going on, I was like, oh no. So now let's see. Okay, we are be we are powered again. So definitely there's a power issue here. So we have some options, like I said. We can try to get an energy cell, one of the energy cells. We could craft one of them and place it in between to buffer the power. That might help um, so that this doesn't happen again. Or we can just make a separate power line separate generators just for our ME system. So we could do that. So this is, this is what I'm thinking about. So now this chest probably is full. Am I right? Yeah. But it's slowly emptying out. Let's go ahead and just try to make this a little quicker just so, you know, all that stuff that's floating doesn't like just disappear. So let's go ahead here and let's just put all this stuff in there. And I'm, I know this is like the old fashioned way. I know doing this all by hand, but I just want to make sure that we try to clear out all that stuff that's flying. So, but it's good that this happened. Actually, this is a good thing to just see if our, if our system will always, you know, keep going and, and maintaining, you know, uh, between placing it in our ME system power wise, everything's running well. So remember we only, what we've done right now is just remove one of these lines. So this is the one that's not working right now. So it's off right now, which is okay, which is okay. Really, we have enough, enough dust coming in right now, but but we will fix it. We want it all to work nicely. So just get rid of all of this as quickly as possible. Now, um, there is no, that's funny. There is no upgrade for this because um, this is a basic import bus. There's no way to, I don't know. Um, I don't know applied energistics that well if there's a way to upgrade the speed of this. So let's go ahead. I don't think so. Oh, look at all this stuff. Like look, the diamond floating right there. All right, let's put this in our system. This is pretty good. Okay, I think we're pretty much caught up now. And I think eliminating that one pulverizer line, remember those are three pulverizers we were powering, could be a good thing, could help us for now for a short time. I did make a sword because I went to our um, spawner and I was trying to get some Enderman, hopefully. There we go, so we're much better now. There we go. I think we're caught up. That's nice to see. Nice to see. All right. So hopefully now that'll drain. Well, that'll drain out of, you know, empty out of stuff. And we'll be back to normal. Let's clean this. And let's have some, a little, eat a little bit. A zombie came out of nowhere here. I'll have to see where it spawned from. Let's press F7 again. Ah, it must have spawned right from here. Because I think I walked over to my spawner. See? And so it must have spawned right from here. So let's place that right there for now. Yeah, that'll help. Okay, great, great. All right, I think we're good now. I think we are now much better than before. You can see things are um, emptying out slowly. But I think we are better, I hope. I hope so. I don't know if this is stuck or what. Let's go ahead and keep cleaning this out for now so this get there's no bottleneck or anything crazy. 
there we go. I might as well just clean it the best I can out and place it there. Okay. So let's see if this is, can maintain now what we want, you know, for this to not happen again. And like I said, I'm going to work on, we're going to work on making um, a redstone. I'm sorry, I keep saying redstone. That was the old fashioned name. There is one, but I want to make sure I'm saying this right. These energy cells, they're different types. And uh, I just want to make sure. Okay, so I think we're good to go now. Everything looks much, much better. This is emptying out, right? Let's check that. Yeah, I think we're good now. All right, all right, much, much better for now. So now our ME system is definitely being powered. Yeah, I had planned to make um, the fart fertilizer for our farm in this episode, but when that happened, I really wanted to share it with you just in case it could happen to you, it could happen. So I just thought it would be nice to share as well as like the good things I, cra I try to craft or make. Um, also like the failures, the mistakes, you know, it's good that I think, you know, to share that with everyone. So, so yeah, all right. So we're, we're doing much better now. We're able to re recover everything and I think we're doing better. I hope so, uh, at least for a while. So yeah, much better. All right, so just eliminating one line of pulverizers has really helped. All right, so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and like I said, I'm sorry, because I had planned on working on the fertilizer. Let's ta look, take a look at the recipes of these. We've got the lead stone, okay, energy cell with a frame. The next one uses the lead stone. They're kind of upgrades of each other. Um, the, the, um, resonant uses the redstone, the redstone, let's see if I got this right. Um, yeah, the redstone is using the redstone, the hardened is its own. Okay. So of all of these, I think we could go with the hardened, I want to say, which is 2 million. I think that's enough for now. I don't think we need so much, um, such a high energy cell. So let's try to go for the hardened, which uses the lead stone first. So let's see if we can craft this. So let's see what we have to start with. Um, let's start with this, which is lead ingots, block of redstone, and some glass. Okay, we don't have anything. So <laughs> let's get some redstone. All right. And let's go ahead and do this. There we go. So now we have our block of redstone. Um, we definitely have, let's do this again. Okay, so we definitely have glass, I know. Right, it's just a matter of me um, getting glass because it doesn't register because it shows different types in the recipe. There we go. So we've got our leadstone energy cell frame. That's what we start with. Let's grab that. Awesome. Now we're going to go to this recipe, which we're going to need our conduction. Oh, I never heard of conductance. I never heard of the conductance coil. They all have different names. Um, yeah, what is that in this? Oh, I did something. Okay, what is that in the center? Electrum ingot, which is made by some kind of blend. So let's do that blend, which is gold and silver, which I don't think I have that. No, I don't have silver. So let's go ahead and um, grab some silver. Um, okay, we won silver ingot, so let's do that. Let's go over to our pulverizers. Um, let's see, can I just switch this out for now? if I could do this awesome so now we'll put this back there you go and we're gonna place our gravel well you know what we could just place that right in our activators this way it gets it gets it gets sifted that's fine all right so I think we only need one hopefully to make that blend right that's what we're making a blend so let's do this again um, let's see we're making the blend okay wait wait a second yeah, we're making this item, which is an ingot, which is made with the electrum blend. So we've got two of these. Awesome. So we want to cook these up. And actually, I don't have this powered. So let's go ahead over here. Head down. Oh, what am I doing? I'm. You know what? I'm not standing over it. That's why. Whoops. Correctly. There we go. Got to stand over it correctly. Now I was cooking some. Oh, I got some more stone here cook these both up let's do that so we have the frame going so now we just have to continue this is good this is uh this is 400,000 but I want to go for the 2 million so it would be nice actually this but I don't think that's really necessary but we'll see how this works because once we place this we'll be able to see really the power coming in and how all well that works now there's a little bottleneck there I hope it's still working smoothly 
Um, I hope so. We'll see. We'll see after a while if it's still working. All right, so we're going to place this here. And what we're trying to make this conductance coil. So let's go ahead and make that. Throw that back in. And there we go. Oh, we just need the lead stone. There we go. So now we have the energy cell. Really easy, actually, to craft at this level. So now if we want to make the hardened, the hardened consists of the lead stone with invar ingots. And I don't have any invar. Let's see what I have of invar. Do I have anything? No. So what was the blend of that? There was some iron, some ferrous, I believe. So let's check that out. Uh, let's see, hardened. So we need the ingot which is a blend of iron and ferrous. There we go. So we needed, um, how many did we need? We're going to grab six. We're going to grab six. Let's head back over here. I know, I'm sorry I keep going to this furnace, but right now I have to power the other redstone furnace. I should make a survivalist engine and just have it there, so that's always powered. Um, but let's go ahead and wait for this. Let me just check this again. I always forget the recipe. We need four. Okay, good. That's a very easy recipe, this one up here, actually. Very easy version of the whole thing rather than making this one. So, so we're going to go with this top recipe. So let's go ahead and get four of these. And then we can upgrade to the next level. And we'll place it, like I said, we do have some conduits. We'll see how that works. We'll have it uh, charge up. And then if I can, then we'll add the other pulverizers again just to see how that goes. Now, it probably won't work because it's still not giving enough power. But remember, I'm going to make one more, one more um, lava generator. It's just that I didn't yet, but I will. I'll make one more lava generator. So where were we? Oh, yes. So we've got our four ingots, right? And now we're going to make, um, let's see, we're going to make this hardened. And we're going to place this in the center. And we've got our hardened energy cell. Awesome. So shift for details. And you can see uh, charge. Uh, let's see. Send, receive 80 RF per tick. Um, let's see. Send, receive 80 is the max for this one. Hmm. Um, so what does this one say? Send, receive 2,000. So 80 is not going to be enough. Oh, 400, 400. Why is mine saying 80? Oh, is this a different version? Did I make a mistake? 400 it's saying. But I did make a different version of it. Wow, that's weird. Isn't it? Like, okay, that is weird. I used the cheaper recipe. It's telling me 80? Wait a minute. Let's see what's going on here. Now I'm really worried about this. Let's place this. See how this goes. Wow. So I use the cheaper recipe and I lose big time. <laughs> I mean, big time. Very, very interesting. Maybe because this is not the thermal expansion recipe. I do not want this at 80 RF per tick. That's not going to help me at all. At all. Oh, gosh. What a bummer, huh? That really is disappointing to me. Oh, gosh. Now the vacuum. The vacuum grabbed it. I can't stand when that happens. It's crazy. Um... Very upsetting. But now I'm upset. <laughs> All right, let's head up here and see how can I grab that. That always happens to me with the vacuum. It's annoying. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if I could grab this. All right. Stop that for a couple minutes. That's okay. Let's head back down. And where's my energy cell? Still up there, stuck. Okay. There we go. All right. I had to break that to be able to get it back. Okay. No problem. No problem. All right. Now let's put that um, vacuum hopper back. All right. So let's see. Actually, you know what? I needed to move this anyway. It wasn't working well. So it's actually worked out very well that I broke that. Okay. What we want to do is we want to place this... Um, a little higher. So let's grab some more transfer. Hmm. Where am I? Oh, I think I have them in this chest. Over here. This was stuff I had in my inventory. Yeah. There we go. 
And what we want to do is place it up above. Do I have a block? Yeah, I do. I hate to use these stone, but you know what? We're going to do that. We're just going to put it right here. Perfect. And leave it there, actually. So let's put this a little higher. This might, I think this will work a lot better. And then we want to place our, I think, how does this work? I think first the transfer node, then the, hmm. Uh, let's fix this. Hmm, that doesn't work like that. That's not a, exactly not, that's totally not what I wanted. It was like upside down. Uh, if I do this, am I doing this right? Yeah, there we go. No, it's still not right. Hmm. Let's see. I think I have to put the vacuum. I always do this wrong every single time, every time. All right. Um, I was sure it was first the... Let's see. Um, hmm. Try to figure this out now. Let us place this like this. Right? This should work still. One block away. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Where'd he come from? <laughs> That's unbelievable! But I don't get it! This is the second time a monster came by. Where are the X's from over here? Hmm, I mean, okay, there are X's here, but he just blew up. I didn't think there were any... It's all right. It's a repairable job. Gosh, I can't believe that. I always watch for X's. I, I, I'm sure there were no X's there. They've just been appearing. Minecraft did something. Uh, Mojang did something to change something on me. And now they're just appearing without the X's. No, I'm kidding. I really don't know. It's weird. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, we'll repair this. This is like a crazy mess now. Look what happened here. All right. I can fix this. I can fix this. This is easy enough. Easy enough. Crazy stuff have happened, but this has been a bad episode. <laughs> crazy stuff today. Not a good day. All right. There we go. All right, so, and this was, we were working on getting this vacuum hopper done. There we go. And for now, let me just place this. We will fix that later. There we go. No problem. I always do this wrong with the transfer node. Let's see. And uh, let's just say, where did that go? Oh, that one, these are going in the water. Interesting. All right. Um... We want to place the vacuum is what we want to place. Let's see how, is there a way I could do, okay. And then can I place this the right way or no? No, of course not. That doesn't work like that. I know how to do this. Wait, wait, wait. I always do it wrong every time. Oh, did it go in there? Of course it did. All right. What I want to do now is place this. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's place this. And then what I need to do is break this one above. That's what I gotta do. There we go. Now, what I wanna do is place this block and I wanna place it just here. There we go. Now we're good to go. Oh, okay, just gotta fix this. There we go. I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. Uh, now we gotta fix the hopper, of course, the vacuum hopper. Um, there we go, and just have the connection on top. So now it's connected, so it's going through. It seems to be working great now. Hopefully it'll be grabbing actually the soul sand better. So yeah, we had some issues there, but we should be okay. Okay, is it going in? Ooh, okay, yeah, it's going in. Good, good, good. Alrighty, so uh, everything's being powered. So now I've made a mistake with this hardened energy cell. That was the wrong recipe that I used. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, make another leadstone and, and make another redstone with the other recipe. We've tons of supplies, so it's not a problem. I'm just really upset that this is actually going to give me only 80 RF per tick. I didn't know that it gives me a different energy cell. Although it says hardened, it's not the same. The cheaper recipe is not the one we want to go with. So, so yeah, definitely I need to um, change that. So let me stop the video. I'm going to make the right one and we'll see the difference there and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the last step here. Um, let's see, we've made our hardened energy. No, that was the one from before, sorry. <laughs> we've made our leadstone energy. What I had to do is just the frame. I didn't actually have to use the leadstone energy cell. It's weird, I'm telling you that it's showing 80 RF per tick. Here it's saying 400. 
I don't get it. I'm afraid there's something wrong there. So anyway, let's grab this one. See if there's a difference. This is all. This is saying 400 now. Although here it's saying 80. Okay. And in the recipes again, let me go back to the recipes here. The one I made, which looked like it was cheaper. The difference was the leadstone is the actual energy energy cell. And here it's just the frame. So really is more or less equal. The recipes. This is showing 400 by 400 RF. Like send and receive, I mean. And this is showing the same. But when I did it, let's see. Okay, this is the one we just crafted. And this is the one I had crafted before. I don't know what happened there. That it's showing me only 80. It's really, really odd. Unless I don't see the mistake. If you guys could bring it to my attention, I'd really appreciate so I can understand that. Because um, I'm not really, I'm not understanding that at all what happened there. So let's go ahead and place this. Uh, and I do have some more conduits. What if I have all of them? Do I need to have all of them go into... I don't think so. Um, so it is charging up really quickly because we have the max. And we have the output also maxed. We have it open. So it is filling up. Let's just see here. These are at zero, like before. That's what we said. And these are now emptying. It's like they weren't emptying before at all. Um, although they have very little lava, it just seemed like, I don't really know what's going on here. I really don't know what the bottleneck or the problem is at all. But this is filling up. So the power is coming out now, which is nice. Um, I don't know if all of this is necessary really to be connected like this. Um, they're all pretty much, yeah, I don't know if that's exactly necessary, but um, it's filling up. So interesting. Now, let's go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I am going to open up. Oh, no, we don't have enough, right? That's what I need. I need to get some more conduits. What we want to do is add those three machines again. So let's see what I do here. This is the one, this is the three, and this is where the other three were. So, we want to, we could add this one, powering up, and we want to add the other two. Now, that doesn't mean, by adding that energy cell, doesn't mean that the solution, you know, that it's all solved, obviously. If, but I just want to see, I don't think it's the remedy for the problem. I just wanted to see, you know, because those two lava generators had full, you know, full power, why they weren't draining, or I've done something wrong there with the connection, or... Anyway, so let's make some more conduits then. Let's do that for now. You know what? I actually, you're going to laugh, but I love problem solving. So when these things happen, I actually don't mind at all. Okay, we have 11 of those. Now we want to make the hardened, which is again the annoying invar ingot. But I do have them. So I think we only need three right now. I think that's enough. Um, let's see. Let's go back um, actually over here, right? And let's just connect these. There we go. So now they should all, let's just click here. Yep, this one's powering up. Uh, and that one is powering up. And the third, they're all powered. Awesome. So they're all powering up. And and I, I should make one more now that we have our ME system working, not like before. We could have one more lava generator there. Let's try that. Since, like we said, we have 400 RF per tick, right? So one more will be perfect. Five generators. Um, so we want a lava generator. What am I doing? No, no, no. Here, we want a lava generator. Lava. There we go. And let's go ahead and see what we're missing here. Just the iron, the block of iron. So we're going to place that in there. All right. That's about it. We have one conduit. Let's see if that'll work out or I need to make more. Okay, head back here. Add one more generator to our system. And one more conduit. Let's see if that... No, we need also transfer pipes. That's correct. For some lava. Now the lava, we might need more lava. Okay, lava's coming in really slow here. You can see it is coming in. 
it is coming in slowly so we'll see we'll see we'll just leave it over time and see if that helps at all probably should have put it on the other side not really sure if that matters I really don't know if that matters the side or you know if it's closer to not really sure but um, let's see our generation here our power in the controller is at 2000 MJ so that's very good to keep it running so you know what I'm just gonna leave this on for a while whoa there is some lag all of a sudden weird okay I'm gonna leave it on Okay, my video got cut off there, so I do apologize about that. So I did leave my computer running for quite a while. It's been running the game. The game was running for quite a while. And uh, as you can see, things look like they're running really smoothly. I did mean to mention something. People did mention in a few episodes back that we can stack these upgrades from the transfer nodes, and I was not aware of that. So I just want to show you guys that they can be stacked. So you could really add a lot of upgrades here, speed upgrades. Um, or I guess you could also add the others as well. Not really sure, but this one definitely the speed upgrades can be stacked. And that was said a few episodes to, ago. The reason that I did not mention it is only because I had recorded a few episodes in advance. Um, because I was going, I knew I wasn't going to be able to make some episodes. I usually try to do it daily. This way I could read the comments and move on from there. But there were a few episodes in there that I had to do in advance. I think it was like, I want to say... 18 to 20 or maybe it was 17 to 20 something like that and uh, So I needed to make those in advance. I'm still having a problem here where this vacuum is not really everything's getting stuck back here Falling in the water kind of getting stuck. So I have to figure out the best way the vacuum maybe should be right over this area I'm Trying to have the pipes not interfere with each other. So I'm gonna have to figure this out a little better possibly I had to add a bunch of drives obviously you see that they just keep getting filled up it's out of control how many how I added a 16k I decided to build a 16k just for the fun of it why not and uh, yeah we're running out of space because we just have an unbelievable amount of ores look at this it's getting out of control crazy but uh, eventually we will process those ores and we'll have it all automated I hope by the way we, when you saw that creeper blow up it was because check this out I guess it must have spawned right here Look at that, there's an X right there and I did not see that, it's pretty hidden. So I put a torch in here and I think I fixed that problem, hopefully. So you can see we have been, um, we're collecting some seeds here. I just have to figure out now, we need to send all the seeds over back to the planter. So we're gonna need to do that um, eventually. So, all right, well that's working out well and it looks like our system's good. I, I don't see any power issues anymore. Now let's go downstairs and take a quick look at our energy cell the resonant en energy cell see how that's doing let's go over here ah it's kind of drained actually that's not good actually it keeps going down see now the last time i checked it was at about 140 that like not 140 i'm sorry um i want to say 1 million 400 thousand so and now I see it going down. This is not good, actually. If I wait, I mean, I've had this the computer running for a while, but basically, this is showing us the. Oh wait, wait, it's going up a little now. Okay, I don't, I don't know, but the fact that it has gone down so much. Look, now it's going down again. Eventually, I think the same thing is going to happen like before. We just don't have enough power, really, for everything that's running. I think. I mean, this is actually running really well, but like I said, look at this. This is going down, then it goes up a little. Now it's going up again, <laughs> but since uh, I would say when I just started, um, it was at one, one forty. I think the max it got to maybe it got to one eight, uh, like one million eight hundred. Then it went to one million four hundred. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to continue constantly continue. I might need to figure something out here. Um, all right, we have like again very little, little lava coming here. This is full. We have no power in any, which is, this has like almost no lava. So this one's kind of not working at all. It might just be a lava issue. Maybe, yeah, we're out of lava here too. Wow. So it might be that the, um, how many do we have here? 10, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. 10 crucibles might not be enough. So if you have some experience with this, please let me know what you think. Anyway, I don't know if we've actually remedied our problem. We did uh, prolong it, like to get it better for a while, for a short time. Um, 
But like I said, I haven't the, I've had the game running a good while and so far it's okay, but it looks like that energy cell just looks like it's draining. Eventually it will drain and we won't be able to keep up with the system. So I'm going to have to either, we're going to have to add more crucibles, more power to the system, really more and more and en more engines will just not work with those conduits so we're gonna have to see how to remedy the whole thing um i'm gonna have to see it could just be a lava issue it could be just the engines are not getting enough lava so they're not outputting um at the speed we want them to so i could add add some more crucible see how that works out um yeah you need a pretty good power system then for this um I really didn't think we needed that many. Um, we have what, six, seven pulverizers and the ME system. And then we have these two powered, even though they're on separate engines, they're still taking the same from the same 10 crucibles. So yeah, pretty interesting actually. It's neat to try to problem solve. I like it, I like it. All right guys, hopefully next episode we'll work on our farm. Um, but I will have to figure out a uh, fix for this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And please remember to leave a like if you can. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I do read all the comments. And remember to subscribe if, you've never, um, if you have not yet done so. Thanks so much. And I hope to see you in the next episode, everyone. Bye-bye.